Hello and welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. And today I have the Mi Kultur, the sherry one. Last video was the <coughs> Mi Kultur, the original. And this one is basically the same, except that you have different maturation. It's first full burn barrels, Pedro Jimenez and Oloretto sherry punchin. And yeah, I've said a little bit about the distillery and the background in the video before. So if you want to know a bit about, more about the background, uh, then watch the original video. Or if you want to know more about the distillery that produced it, it's the Glen Alaki uh, distillery and you will find a distillery video here on the channel. I've visited that video. That was pretty much the only distillery. I don't know which, which tour that was, but I've done that distillery completely on my own. Um, usually I have a, a camera guy, but for that distillery video, I didn't have anybody. So I had to uh, carry my own tripod and set it up, have a look how the, the shot is. Uh, I think I connected it to my, to my smartphone so it could look how the, how the camera is watching me. And uh, it was a bit of a different, uh, yeah, a bit of a different uh, experience. But. It took me a lot longer than normal um, because it's just you have to do all the b-roll and all that kind of stuff you can do it perfectly like you wanted to but um yeah it's good <laughs> yeah e enough about the, my distillery tour and uh yeah let's talk about the mikul tour the sherry one and uh, i expected this so if if the uh, billy walker brings out the product uh with smoke then there must be one with sherry and smoke and yeah, it's strangely enough, doesn't smell that sweet. The other one I, I really liked because it, it was sweet and um, smoky, which you usually get when you use PX and Sherry cars. This one is more subtle. It has a, it's not as bonfire and it feels a little bit more velvety and a little bit more laid back. Oh, it, it hit a bit in the, sm in, the, in the smell, in the aroma, but in the flavor, oh. strength, 48, oh, not 50, 48% ABV, and it, it carries a lot of strength, mm. with a lot more berries and cherries and f different kind of fruitiness. The other one was more fresh fruitiness, like, Mm. It was strange, you couldn't really define it, but this one is more grapes and and raisins and wine and all that kind of stuff. So it really feel you feel do feel the sherry in there as well. Mm. And now that I have it in my mouth it I smell it as well. No, oh, it's nice. It it's not as PX I was would say as I would have expected. But it it feels like a good Oloroso one. Um although also with that one, it feels a bit dry in my mouth. Mm. When I also said when I said also dry, in the original I had a bit of a dryness in my second sip in the German video. So yeah, when you have these Mikul tours and you take a few sips after another one, you have that dry feeling in your mouth. Can't deny it. Mm. A little bit of that, that pelty feeling. I don't know if it's maybe just my physique today, my, my just my being today, but you have a bit of dryness in there. Mm, I like it, it's a good one. I do like the other one a little bit more because it's just more sweeter and I love that combination of uh, smokiness and sweetness. I lo love that. That has that, but not as strong as the original. Would have expected more sweetness in the sherry one than in the original one but fresh casks are just very very strong with it uh, with a sweetness that has the original mm -hmm. so yeah that was my take on the mikul tour sherry one if you live in the netherlands you can buy it for around 55 euros or 56 euros on whiskey.com thank you very much for watching and see you next time